Researchers at uh, Georgia Tech are working on a rather strange sounding project. They want to help dogs speak. They're creating wearable computer technology for service dogs and other working dogs. One of their test pilots is a border collie rescue named Blitz. The Fox Medical Team's Beth Galvin is here to talk about the Fido Project, and this really sounds cool to me. It is really cool to see, Ron. You know, Blitz and his owner are working with computer researchers at Tech, and one of them is Dr. Melody Jackson, and she's actually a volunteer puppy raiser for Canine Companions for Independence, and that is the country's largest and oldest service dog provider. And her lab partner was part of the team that helped develop Google Glass. Well, now they've teamed up, and they're trying to find a way to give working dogs of voice. You're good boy, buddy. Barbara Curry, your service dog Blitz, is her early warning system. She's hypoglycemic, so if her blood sugar suddenly drops, Barbara will pass out. And he notices it plummeting about 30 minutes before I have any episode at all. And so if I eat when he starts alerting, I never have an episode. Stand. But if Barbara loses consciousness, Blitz had no way of alerting someone until now. Excuse me. My owner needs your attention. The dogs know what's happening. They have no way to tell you. So Georgia Tech computer scientist Dr. Melody Jackson and her lab partner have created the Fido Project, vests that help working dogs do their jobs. So they can tell the difference between this explosive and that explosive. They can tell the difference between an alarm and a doorbell. Um, and uh, But they have no means of expressing it right now. So we're just giving them the voice. Get it. That voice is this vest. The dog pulls a tab to activate a sensor that relays a message. So in a medical emergency, say, a service Excuse dog me. could pull a tab and alert 911. Or if a storm is approaching, I heard the alarm. a hearing dog could send its deaf handler a warning text that would say tornado Siren just went off. We need to, to get to the basement. The Fido vest is still a work in progress, and one of the biggest challenges is finding the technology that will stand up to a dog's life. Because they do shake, they lie down, they itch, they move, they jump in and out of cars. But if dogs could use this technology to talk, Jackson says the potential is huge, and she's hoping Blitz is just the beginning. That this could change change the game for a lot of people, make a lot of people's lives better, and could even save lives. Yes. And the FIDO project team is working with Canine Companions to, uh, for Independence to test these vests. They've also teamed up with the Georgia Tech Police and with Forsyth County Search and Rescue Team. So this project may help dogs uh, across every line of work really talk to their handlers, Ron. And it sounds kind of silly when you think of it, but it really can be life-saving for someone. Yeah, you know, it's so fascinating, but she's, Dr. Jackson said that uh, she was kind of inspired by one of her students that's blind yes. uh, and uses a service dog. Yes. So what happened there? Well, he was walking across campus with his dog and a, you know, a, a familiar route and the dog suddenly stopped and wouldn't go any further. And the guy, you know, kind of made the dog go, you know, you're not supposed to, but he, he got frustrated because he couldn't feel anything with his cane and they stepped right into wet cement. Oh, but wow. if the dog had been able to pull a tab and say, there's Stop. something in front of us, there's yeah. an obstacle, he could have communicated that and it would have been a lot less difficult. Oh my God. That's, this is just so cool. Yeah. Man. Nice to see those dogs being yeah. able to communicate with their partners. Yeah, it is. Absolutely great story. Beth, thank you. All right, 736 is the time, and take a look at this surveillance video. The cat